Welcome to Seesaw. This video is for teachers using free Seesaw and Seesaw Plus. Let's get set up. Seesaw uses the platform, content, and professional development to create a powerful learning loop that brings together teachers, students, and families. In this training, you will set up your account in class, get students up and running, and learn to use essential Seesaw tools. First, create your Seesaw account. Go to app.seesaw.me or download the Seesaw Class app. Click I'm a teacher, click sign up at the bottom of the screen, and then sign up with Google. Or enter your information and click create teacher account. You will be prompted to create a class. You have two options. First, if you have a roster in Google Classroom, click import from Google Classroom and follow the prompts. This automatically imports students into your Seesaw class. Students simply use their Google credentials to sign in. If you don't use Google Classroom, type a class name and choose a grade level. Specialist teachers and teachers of multiple grades, click Other. Pause the video now and create your Seesaw account in class. Next, add students. Don't worry, adding students does not give them access to Seesaw. If you've imported your class from Google Classroom, your students have already been imported. You can skip this step. Otherwise, click the Add Students button. It's at the bottom of your screen. You'll be taken through the following prompts. First, choose a sign-in mode. There are two options, email address or class code. If students already have access to an email address and password, they can use it to sign in. To use email addresses, click yes, and then follow the instructions on your screen. To get added to your class, students use the join code and then enter their email address and password. The join code is only needed the first time the students sign in. After that, they simply enter their email address and password. The second way students can sign in is with a class code. On your screen, click No. Then choose how students use devices. We recommend choosing one-to-one -one devices, even in classrooms with shared devices, because students typically use devices one at a time. Now type students' names. You can do this one by one, or you can paste a list of student names by clicking here. You can always add more students later in class settings. That's the wrench icon. Follow the instructions on your screen. Students use the class code to sign in. Pro tip, print the QR code and hang it around the room or tape it to each student's desk. Pause the video now, choose email or class code sign in and follow the prompts to add students. We created resources to help students get started. Follow this link for lesson plans, student videos, handouts, and more. Now that you're logged in, let's explore essential Seesaw tools, starting with the green add button. The green add button is where it all begins. When teachers click the green add button, you see this menu. We'll focus on the first two options in this video. To post to the class journal as a teacher, click the green add button, then post student work. You have access to all Seesaw learning tools to create your post. For example, use the photo or video tool to share classroom moments, or use a combination of tools to create multidimensional announcements, resources, discussion questions, and more. Upload a photo, add text labels, use the drawing tools, and even add your voice to create posts that get students excited, like this welcome post. Students also have a green add button. This is the student view. Notice it says student under the class name. The student view is very similar to the teacher view, with a few differences. When students click the green add button, they don't see the teacher menu. They go right to the learning tools to create their post. Students can share photos of their learning, like this, or they can capture a video of their learning, like this, and so much more. The green add button is perfect for quickly capturing day-to-day -day learning moments. View posts created by you and your students in the Journal tab. The Journal tab is the default view when you log into Seesaw and shows all posts in the order that they're posted. To view posts by a specific student, click on their name on the right. You can also view posts by date. Click the calendar icon at the top right of the journal. Note that this icon does not appear until something has been posted to the journal. It's your turn. Pause the video now and create your first post. The green add button is great for getting started. Seesaw activities open even more possibilities. Seesaw activities allow you to create structured experiences that transform learning. Access ready-to-assign activities, like this, in the Seesaw Activity Library. Activities include step-by-step -step student directions, teacher notes, 
a template for student responses, and more. How do you get to the activity library? Click the green Add button. Click Assign Activity. You'll be taken to My Library. My Library is where you find Seesaw activities you save and create. Finally, the Community tab is where you find free activities created by Seesaw and our community of ambassadors. Our Getting Started collection for each grade band is in the Community Library. These activities help you start your year on Seesaw. When you find an activity you like, click the heart to save it. Find the saved activity in My Library. Saving activities does not assign them. To assign, click the green Assign button. Don't see the green Assign button? Make sure you save the activity first. When you click Assign, you see a list of all your classes. Click the box next to one or multiple classes to assign it. Pause the video now. Find, save, and assign an activity. Let's explore the Seesaw workflow. Assigned activities show in the Activities tab. Here's the student view. Students see assigned activities in the To Do section of their Activities tab. To respond, they click Add Response. If no template is attached, students use any Seesaw tool to create their post. If a template is attached, each student gets a fresh copy of the template to complete. Once students submit their responses, the activity moves from the To Do section to the Done section. They're ready to complete the next one. Back to the teacher view. You can view student responses by clicking the gray bar on an activity. See which students have completed an activity and which have not. Click on a response to see the post. Engage with student work by liking the post or adding a comment. Comments can be typed or recorded. Audio comments are particularly helpful for emerging readers and English language learners. Note that all posts must be approved by the teacher before they're visible in the class journal. When there are student posts for you to approve, a red bar appears on the bottom of your screen. Click Review. Review each post and approve, send back, or delete. Note, deleted posts cannot be recovered. Pause the video now. In your teacher account, pretend you're a student. Go to the Activities tab, click Add Response, select Sample Student, and complete the activity. You did it. You're set up on Seesaw and you've mastered the Seesaw basics. With these skills, there's so much you can do with Seesaw. And there's a lot more we'd love to show you. Find more free training at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.